Owen Phillips at the Senate, thank you. Now, after the big freeze, spring might actually finally have uh, sprung. Kate can either confirm or deny. That's really putting me on the spot there, Andrea. Yes, and April may still be just over a week away, but the good old April showers seem to be heading our way early. All the details coming up. Well, there will be warm... Alistair will be with you shortly. Now, it has, of course, been a glorious day out there today. Um, Kate, we've been impressed with it, so thank you. Is it here to stay? I delivered it just for you, Andrew. Well, let's just say it's here for the next few days, at least. But when I say that, don't get too excited. I'm not promising wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. In fact, there is a little bit of rain in tonight's forecast. I think after all the snow, we'll probably take the rain. <laughs> I think I'd be tempted to agree with you, yes. But before we get into the detail of the coming days, let's take a look at these lovely photos sent in by our viewers. They really capture the spring-like feel to the weather we've had over the last few days. Nothing to me screams spring like this beautiful lamb here in Ogmore. And I just love this photo of Llyn Nantle in Gwynedd, sent in by Gareth. And last but not least, well, what a beautiful sunset. We've had some really glorious weather over the coming days. As I say, a little bit of rain in tonight's forecast, but some sunshine to talk about too. Let's take a look. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Cymru Wales weather. So high pressure has been keeping things nice and settled today, but I'm sure you can see low pressure hiding behind me here, waiting out in the wings. And if we take a look at what that means then, by tomorrow that low pressure tracks its way towards us, bringing with it some heavy rain overnight tomorrow and into Friday. But the plus side of that, it will feel a little milder out there by the end of the working week. Back to this evening then, and we could see one or two showers affecting parts of the north elsewhere, remaining largely dry overnight tonight. Quite a lot of cloud around and a much milder night out there tonight compared with last night. Take a look at these temperatures. Well, not really dipping much below four degrees. Last night in many places, well, temperatures reached freezing and um, below. Then as we move through into Thursday, quite a lot of cloud around, a little bit of mist and fog to start with, but that will clear away, leaving some Decent brighter breaks through the course of the afternoon, but with a notable difference tomorrow, the winds. If we take a look here, the winds really starting to pick up and then into the afternoon, as I say, well, we will start to see some heavy rain then tracking its way through the country overnight on Thursday and into Friday. But Friday is an improving picture. Although we will are likely to have some rain to start with, clearing then into the afternoon. A similar story then as we head through Friday night into Saturday. A better afternoon to come on Saturday and another day of sunshine and showers for us all on Sunday. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Cymru Wales weather. Not the prettiest of forecasts with the, the sunshine and showers, but far less dramatic than this time last week. We like calm. We do, we <laughs> certainly do. Thanks, Kate. And that is it from all of us on Wales at 6. Richard Morgan will have your late headlines for you coming up after the news at 10. The ITV Evening News is, of course, next for all of us here. Goodbye and good night. Lewis. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Cymru Wales weather. Hello, good evening to you. What a glorious day it's been for most of us. Plenty of sunshine out there today. But as we head through the next few days, things staying largely calm and settled for a time before, we are likely to see more in the way of sunshine and showers as we head through into the weekend. Back to the here and now then. Overnight tonight staying largely dry after a few earlier showers in parts of the north. Now, I think there will be quite a lot of cloud cover, but we could see one or two breaks in this, and therefore we could see a localised frost, especially in the southern half of the country. However, take a look at these temperatures. Far milder out there than last night. So I think most of us generally remaining frost-free. So tomorrow then gets off to quite a grey, cloudy start. One or two mist and fog patterns. 
patches around but these will clear away quite rapidly and I think well we will again get some decent breaks in the cloud some brighter spells developing through into the afternoon but what we will notice however some strengthening winds with some rain heading our way overnight on Thursday and affecting things then first thing on Friday night night. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Cymru Wales weather.